get closer to the camera, be interactive, change your outfits. One of the most commonly asked questions that I get from a lot of you UGC creators is, what are the best types of UGC ads? A lot of people expect something like, oh, it's us versus them ads, or it's unboxing tutorials. However, the best type of UGC ads are the ones that convert, which means the best type of UGC ad could be any ad, as long as it performs well. And as a UGC creator in the saturated market, one of the best skills that you can currently have is the ability to create high converting ads. Brands will love you for it. Why? Your UGC ad will get them sales. And why do most brands run ads? to get sales. So in this video, we're gonna break down how to script, shoot, and edit a high converting UGC ad. I've tested way over a thousand UGC ads. And here's something interesting that I found. All high converting ads have these three common elements. It's able to grab people's attention, hold that attention, and can persuade people to take an action. If you can tick these three boxes, regardless of the type of ad you create, it's gonna be highly converting. That would be the best type of UGC ad. It's really that simple. We've spoken about what makes an ad highly converting. And naturally the next question is, how do you create these ads? In this section of the video, I'm gonna break down how to script a high converting ad. And there's two parts to scripting. One is what you say, and second is what you show. Let's start with what we're gonna say. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here, by the way. There's already an art that leverages the use of words to sell, and that is the art of copywriting. First copywriting principle that we're gonna leverage is the rule of one. Think of it in this way. When you're scripting your ad, you wanna craft your message in a way where you're speaking to one specific person, trying to solve a specific problem that they have by using the product that you're promoting. And I've actually leveraged the, the rule of one principle for this video. So when I was scripting this video, I had this UGC creator in my mind who wanted to create better UGC ads, but wasn't able to get in-depth information on how to script shoot and edit them. And this is the thing about advertising. If you're trying to sell to everybody, you sell to nobody. I've realized a lot of this information will seem very abstract if I try and explain it. So instead, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys an ad and then we'll break it down. Guys, this is how I got iPhone quality videos on an Android. I've always had Android phones because they were affordable, but the camera quality in these phones were terrible. The images and videos were so bad that even my grandma said I should stop taking selfies. That really hurt. I was almost about to sell my car to buy an iPhone till I discovered Google Pixel. This phone costs less than half the price of an iPhone and the camera quality is amazing. Ultra wide sensors so I can capture saucy content from my Insta and all the images are sharp, accurate and beautiful. And the best part is I'm able to shoot content all day long because of this phone's massive battery. Guys, size does matter. So if you guys are looking for an Android phone that shoots high quality images and videos, check out Google Pixel. That was basically my futile attempt at shooting UGC ads. Do you guys reckon I could be a good UGC creator? Let me know in the comment section below. But back to the point, let's break down the ad. So obviously I've utilized the rule of one. The whole plot of the ad was crafted for this individual who wanted to get high quality or iPhone quality videos, but didn't want to pay the price. Wanted something that was affordable. So the video started off with the problem. Person was looking for an affordable Android phone that had good camera. And then we agitated the problem with a bit of humor where, you know, I was almost about to sell my car to purchase the phone. And that was sort of subconscious messaging where I was trying to compare the price of an iPhone to the price of a car. Obviously it was exaggerated a bit, but yeah, agitated the problem. We added a bit of humor to keep that attention. And then we brought in the Google Pixel as a solution. And every single feature or benefit that I mentioned was very specific to the problem that we were trying to solve. I'm gonna make a statement, write this down. Not every feature or benefit is beneficial. Whenever you're crafting the messaging for your ad, make sure you only talk about specific features and benefits that's relevant to the problem that you're talking about. We'll definitely grab people's attention a lot better and will have a higher chance to hold that attention as well. And then eventually we had that call to action telling people what to do after watching the ad. Now there's a couple of things that I haven't incorporated in that Google Pixel ad. You want to tell your viewers that there's other people who have actually benefited from using the product. Humans have a very strong herd mentality and if you can show people that there's other people who also use this product, then the likelihood of you persuading that person to click the ad and make a purchase is definitely going to be higher. So in conclusion, when you're scripting what to say, make sure you have a target individual in mind and be very specific about the problem that you're trying to solve and how the product that you're promoting helps to solve that specific problem. What the hell is that? <laughs> which then, which now brings us to the next point, brings us to the next point, which is 
shooting? What are you gonna show to your viewers? This is actually linked to the scripting part as well. You need to make a shot list before you actually start shooting. And your shot list will be heavily dependent on the message that you script. I'm gonna share with you a quick hack that's gonna make your life easier when it comes to creating shot lists. If you capture these five different types of shots, you don't need anything else. The first is the hook. And when you're thinking about hooks, you wanna utilize the pattern interrupt principle. You know, think about it in this way, you know, when people are on their phones, they're mindlessly scrolling. And if your hook or the visuals within your first three seconds is basic, the chances of stopping someone from scrolling is slim. There's a hundred different ways to implement the pattern interrupt principle. However, if I had to give you three different types of shots, one would be weird visuals, something that would evoke some sort of an emotion, you know, maybe disgust, maybe surprise. Weird visuals that evoke and emotion are the best type of hook visuals. Another one would be the zoom in effect. This is a really cool effect, especially if you're talking to the camera. Another hook that works really well is transformations. If you can show before and after within the first three seconds, that does wonders too. Now the second type of shot is what I call the product display shot. This is where you display the actual product. Product display visuals are where you wanna get those aesthetically pleasing shots, you know, the golden hour shots or the shots where it's just beautiful. Third type of shots are the product demonstration shots. With these shots, you definitely wanna be creative. Remember, we're trying to hold a person's attention, get your viewer to start imagining things. It's gonna spark your viewers' imagination. So get creative. The fourth type of shots are the testimonial shots. This is basically this right here, where you're talking to the camera. Last but not the least are the extra shots. These are shots that you wanna grab so that you're able to visually tell a better story. So in conclusion, with your messaging or what you say, be strategic and specific, whereas with your visuals, you wanna be creative. Last but not the least part of this whole process is editing. This is where all the magic happens, but this is also the most complicated part of the whole process. Also, I've changed the way I'm talking to the camera because I like moving my hands when I talk. That's my Pomodoro timer. So when it comes to editing agencies like my agency, we get the raw file. We have professional video editors that edit the content to make it more engaging. However, if you've been approached by a brand that wants you to edit the content, here's a couple of things you can keep in mind. Our attention span is shorter than that of a goldfish. First one is aspect ratio. Please shoot, please edit your content using the right aspect ratio or the right format. The amount of times I've had creators send content that's not the right format. Second point about editing is scene cut. Have a scene cut or change up your visuals every two to three seconds. Or if you're talking to the camera, you know, have some gestures, hand movement, get closer to the camera, be interactive, change your outfits. So many things that you can do to keep a person visually stimulated. Now, the third one is music. This might not be a deal breaker because most people view ads with sound off, but if you can use the right kind of music, you can evoke specific types of emotions. So in conclusion, the best type of UC ads are the ones that can grab attention, hold that attention and can persuade people to take an action. And you can increase your chances of success by understanding the product that you're promoting, understanding the problem it solves for your viewers and presenting only relevant information in your ad. And when you're scripting your content, leverage the art of copywriting. And when you're shooting visuals, think outside the box, get creative. And when editing, make sure your ad is engaging, change up your visuals every two to three seconds, make sure you're shooting in the right format and utilize relevant music. But yeah, that's all from me for today. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. So this is for the people that actually watch my videos for the end. Welcome back. I don't think I'm that famous yet for people to notice that I've not been on YouTube for a while. Yeah, I've not been on YouTube for a while. I've relocated to a whole different country. And for those of you that have been following my journey on here, I'm the co-founder at Growth Digital, but now I'm also a proud co-founder of One Energy Media. One Energy Media is very specific. You know, in terms of an agency, we're trying to solve a very specific problem. We focus on creating high converting or high performing UGC ads but yeah if you're a UGC creator and you want to get involved go check out our TikTok page and also drop a comment in the comment section below welcome to one energy media where we take UGC and creative strategy and merge it into one so the problem we're trying to solve is that brands are paying a lot of money for UGC content that does not necessarily convert we utilize the power of authentic content that contains sales psychology so we are providing affordable content that has a better chance to succeed because of creative strategy. We have three packages to choose from and we onboard a limited number of clients per month. So claim your offer today.